Welcome back to Potted Living, the show where we teach you how to grow all kinds of fruits and vegetables on your patio and in containers, small spaces. This episode, it is spring. It's the end of March here in Vancouver. As you know from my past videos, this is where I'm located now. As you can see, not the sunniest of days, but it's getting warmer. It's not freezing anymore. And I got great news. All of my citrus survived the winter, um, some better than others. You can see the Meyer lemon there. It's looking okay, some flowers on it. Um, my blood orange, uh, mandarin. I've got a brand new one, my Mai Wai kumquat. Uh, my last one didn't survive, so I've got another one here. It's quite small, so it's got a ways to go. Just got it yesterday, very excited to have that new addition. And I have the lime quat, as you can see, suffered a bit this winter. And the grapefruit, which also suffered but is showing all kinds of signs of new life which is exciting and two new additions actually one new addition that's my old blueberry there and then I've got a pink lemonade huge one that I was allowed to buy which is very exciting can't wait to see how that one goes so I just potted all of these just today um, the pink lemonade blueberry bought this yesterday put it in a 24 inch wide by 18 inch deep um, barrel looking pot it's got very good drainage and I've had terrible luck with blueberries so I'm trying it again keeping them next to each other hoping for some cross-pollination if the flowers come out at the same time and um, I've potted them in peat moss sphagnum peat moss this time to try to keep the acidity levels right I've got holly tone coming tomorrow that's gonna be the fertilizer I'm gonna use to try to keep these blueberries happy so we'll see how they go and I've also added some worm castings um, to all of my plants to boost the root development as we go into the important spring And as we come along here, you'll see my repotted citrus. I've potted them up They were in the smaller pots at the back my lime quat and my grapefruit were the two that I decided to pot up this year um, They were ready for it. They were fairly root bound So they're ready to go my blood orange at the back there That's been potted up and then these two are staying in the small ones for now. We do have some fruit which is really cool uh, starting here as you can see very excited about that to see how that goes the grapefruit I'm gonna spin back here has some I don't know they're looking a little light so I don't know if they're gonna make it but we'll see um, the lime quat does not the Meyer lemon does not but again both growing quite well they're ready I've used my citrus tone as you can see so here's my worm castings just trying this out I've actually never used earthworm castings before but uh, everybody swears by them for root development, so that's great. Citrus tone, and then as I mentioned, holly tone coming next. And then of course, this is my black currant, which has always done really well. So I'm hoping that this year it does well um, with the right fertilizer and um, the right amount of warmth. So we'll see, and then of course, Meyer lemon. No fruit yet, but lots of good new leaf development starting up, which is exciting. So that's my update. My two new plants are my Mai Wai Kumquat, my pink lemonade blueberry, so we'll see how they do in this climate. But again, they made it through winter. I was told that the citrus would not. We had four snowfalls here in Vancouver, which is highly unusual. Um, so I did have to take them inside during those snowfalls, but the rest of the time I left them out all the way down to zero, um, which would be 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And they survived, again, didn't love it, some of them, but they did survive. Anytime it dipped below zero, I did take them inside. Um, but we'll see. I mean, to be honest, when I had them in Toronto and I took them inside for the winter, they looked a lot worse. They would have a lot more bugs. They would look very stressed. So while they don't have a lot of leaves, it feels a little bit more like dormancy. And now they're going to spring back to life in the spring. So I'll send an update as we go. But there we are. This is my setup for the spring. And uh, this is all my repotting and don't be surprised if a couple more plants show up here because I do have a couple spare pots left over that I'm hiding away. So maybe we'll do some strawberries or something this year. And again, this one, keep an eye on the pink lemonade. Let's see how it does. Huge bush, huge bush. Um, we'll see if it actually produces some blueberries for us. That's it for Potted Living. Uh, leave comments, co suggestions, questions in the comments section. I always respond. I'd love to hear from you. And please do subscribe to the channel.